This is a KW T680. By the same matter, what kind of truck do you have? Some of these trucks are going to be equipped with Cummins ISX engines or X15s. Uh, in this case, that's what we're going to be talking about. So in this case, we had this truck, a KW T680. Then what's making this sound? <laughs> This was a very loud sound uh, and uh, obviously we can tell them there is something wrong with the engine but also we know then we have some couple uh, uh, things then we find out to decide what kind of repair we have to do. So in this case uh, it's very important then when you have an engine that has a sound like the one this engine had it's very important that you check if it has any blow-by and by that uh, all you do is remove the old cap and see if there is any blow-by and if you have any blow-by yeah of course we have an internal engine problem but if we don't that means then we are not going to have coolant in the oil and that means then the bottom area of the engine is good and also when i check the coolant level if the coolant level is good or marks of oil and stuff like that but if everything uh, in there is fine we, we're gonna discard that but if the coolant and the oil are fine and there is no blow there and there is no blow by on the cranky system that means that we only have one problem which is the cylinder head and that is the reason why the engine runs but it runs like misfiring and then on the exhaust you're gonna see blow uh, uh, smog constantly because the compression is not actually burning the fuel thing is getting injected to the combustion chamber and it's getting released directly to the exhaust manifold so what to do the only thing to do is to remove the head uh, to remove the head of course we have to do different steps here and there for common ISX it's a little harder to remove the head because we have to remove the radiator and the front components of the engine to actually get access to remove the crankshaft and then we can lift the head but once we're done that, we can lift the head pretty easy. Just be sure to don't grab any of the other components in the engine head. And uh, once you get the head out, we can identify the issue. And of course, the issue is a cylinder balding is broken. And that is caused for many reasons on coming side sex. But keep in mind that when you have a cylinder head, a bald on a cylinder head and it's broken, most of the time that can be a broken head so if you have this problem it is always better or recommended to replace the cylinder head entirely because if you send this cylinder head to the machine shop it's more likely that they are going to say that it is okay but probably after 100,000 miles or less than that the cylinder head is going to have having problems like high, uh, high uh, coolant pressure and overheating and that is not going to be good for you after spending some money on this repair. The downside of this is that the cylinder heads for Cummins ISX are expensive. So cylinder heads for this Cummins ISX can be around uh, four to five thousand dollars, probably a little less depending on you get where you get them. But if you get them straight from the dealer, they are going to be around five thousand dollars. And this is going to be very pricey for all of us. It doesn't matter in the uh, con economic condition you are, uh, uh, just still it's gonna be a lot of money since uh, $5,000 um, for all of us 
thing uh, means a lot of money. But anyway, uh, but uh, after that, remember then it's not just the head. Uh, there is the gaskets, there is oil, there is coolant, and some other components that are involved when you are doing this job. And if that's the case, you will be spending at the end with labor around like seven to eight thousand dollars, probably up to ten thousand dollars, depending, just with a head job. So just keep that in mind. So these Cummins ISX engines are good engines, but they're very expensive to maintain because of the components are a little more pricey than other engines. But that also means that this component, after you replace the cylinder head, the cylinder head is going to last just one year and then it's going to go bad. No, that's not the case. So probably it's going to last around five years, something like that, and then it's going to go bad again, or probably it's going to take more than that. So it depends. So the mechanical components, they vary on the amount of time they last. So it's always better to keep in mind that you have to be prepared for whatever problem that your engine is going to have. Um, but uh, of course, right, uh, coming side of six, they have couple issues, they have many issues, and this is one of the issues that I'm talking about, cylinder heads go bad over the time, that's very common coming side of six. But if you wanna see more about coming side of six problems, you can check my channel, I have many videos talking about coming side of six and the problems that these engines are presenting after many miles of use. And I wanna continue on doing more videos, especially on the newer coming side of six version, which is the, I, the X15. The X15 is the newest version. And this uh, also has problems similar to the Cummins ISX, but some of them vary. But up to right now, this is all I'm going to be talking about this problem that this Cummins ISX presented to us. Uh, it's very uh, common for us to see uh, Cummins ISX with cylinder head broken and uh, problems similar to that. Um, luckily for the owner of this truck, the cylinder head was the only problem. So in some cases, the cylinder head damaged the pistons and other components and then it's a little more expensive to repair them and uh, well I mean uh, in the condition then uh, sometimes we are we are not ready to spend a lot of money on these engines but hopefully my videos are helpful to you and so you can understand the problem if you get to see a similar problem like this engine presented on this video you know what to do you know what kind of repairs you have to do so just keep on mind and I'll be helping you by giving you information on how to repair this engine. So if you like this video, just like the button. And um, if you like this video, click the button. And uh, be sure to follow my channel, go to Instagram. If you wanna see me as Francisco Maya YouTube, you can see other things that I'm doing. Don't uh, remember to comment, so that way you can leave your opinions and other things that are um, important for the channel and for this video to make it more informative. And thank you for watching.